Hello and welcome back to the channel. We're doing a quick recap here of our Star Rule 2 playthrough. Alright, so as you can see here, we've claimed a good portion of our Spiral Galaxy that we started out in. And as you can tell from the borders, we actually have a large influence area now. Uh, we did expand into our second galaxy. We have two systems that we found wormholes through that are in our main territory. Uh, we've got one down here, I believe. execute that order. And then of course we have the other one which was up here. Now we're working on fortifying that so we can actually start expanding out into this other galaxy here. Uh, we did expand our fleets. Let's go ahead and clear this up so you can see. Unfortunately you do have to reset your uh, displayed items each time. What I like to do is put uh, the military flagship option up there. Alright, so we've expanded from our two fleets up to our five fleets that we currently have now. And some of them are fairly potent, like we have uh, 1.3 million strength on this fleet alone. Uh, it was basically uh, reactionary, unfortunately. As we were expanding, taking over our territories here, we did encounter a couple situations, as you'll see in the long playthrough, that um, our neighboring species have kind of invaded our territory. <coughs> Not militarily, mind you, but they've claimed planets that were clearly ours by rights. Now, uh, some may argue that they were there first. Um, well, you could technically say that they may have colonized it first, but that was clearly going to be our ter territory regardless. So, but it is definitely our uh, manifest destiny to uh, take that territory from them. Uh, take the territory back, rather, not from them per se, since, of course, it wasn't theirs in the first place. That's right, we had all claims to it. Alright, and of course we are going to expand to take over a good portion of the galaxy here. Unfortunately, we had the same situation with our little blue neighbors here. They did start to expand into our wormhole, or slipstream tear rather, uh, solar system here, which uh, we did take that to the Intergalactic Council, or whatever you want to call it, and we did of course claim that, as well as some of the bordering systems that the... Uh, kind of yellowish green was uh, fighting us for. So of course uh, next we're going to take this to the uh, council and see if we can get this territory uh, ruled in our favor so we can control this system entirely as we should. And then of course down here on our, well, I guess we could say southern front, there's a few territories that we need to uh, claim from the uh, red here. So we'll take those to the council as well, see if we can uh, get those without having to force them out. And of course we did, as I said, build up our fleet, so if it does turn out that the council is going to uh, rule against us, we can enforce the uh, rightful action of removing them from these territories. Alright, uh, that pretty much covers our current situation. Uh, got a little bit more research left to do. Uh, most everything we've uh, pretty much started to get into. We've got a lot of the uh, advanced items, like we've got ring worlds now, and uh, artificial planet toys, which we've made a couple of those. And uh, pretty much uh, we'll finish up the research as soon as we can, of course. We've made modifications to the designs. As you can see here, we went with a higher-end neutronium armor coating over the carrier. We've replaced the lasers with hyperdense lasers. We've even replaced the missile launchers with Muon cannons which is a different weapon type altogether compared to what the missile launchers were, obviously, but these cannons are fairly well effective. Uh, we've also replaced our uh, energy core with an antimatter core, which uh, basically is kind of universally potent. And uh, you can see all the other upgrades we've added on, which just further enhance our weapon systems. Of course, we've gone and... let's go back... We've gone and modified, as well, our smaller craft. Unfortunately, the small craft don't appear to get hyperdense lasers. It's only the large craft that have access to them. So we went and modified the uh, small craft designs as well to keep them as up-to-date as possible with our new tech. Now, what we don't have on any of these yet, and we should probably go ahead and see if we can knock that out, is to throw a shield generator on here. Now, the question is, I think we'll put it up here. Uh, no, we actually can't. Not without cutting down 
something else on the ship here. Huh. Now here's an idea. I think we can expand our bridge size. Ah, no, that's not going to give us some more interior space. Alright, so we'll revert that back to the supply storage. Well, we do have a decent amount of power, so we could reduce our overall power for the shield generator. It does make a difference for defensive. Okay, that's Alright, so we get slightly reduced supplies there, and we've got a very small shield generator for the ship now, which will just increase its overall durability and ability to take those initial hits, especially those high-powered hits. They'll get wasted on the shield and not end up chewing through our armor. So we'll go ahead and save that design. Now, you might be wondering why we haven't used the uh, battleships or the dreadnoughts. Now, you can, of course, increase those in size to get a proper balance for it, but, uh, since we've already modified the... Uh, carrier. It's kind of hard to measure without modifying these further. But basically, uh, what we've had put in previous games is comparing them size-wise to their overall stats, the carriers seem to be the more beneficial one. Now, the Dreadnought and Battleship tend to be more of the uh, front-line ships that can take a direct hit themselves and actually hold their own against fleets with very limited support craft. But the carrier with its support craft is just far more potent than the actual dreadnoughts and battleships. Alright, uh, that pretty much covers uh, comments on that and, of course, our update on how our game is going. Of course, there will be the full playthrough for the last session that you can always watch. And I hope that was helpful and inspirational in others, and I hope you guys enjoy the game. Have a good day.